Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 8, The Pointy End. Predictions, do you think he's going to um, cross the sea, Khal Drogo? I mean, I'll be highly disappointed if he doesn't. <laughs> They've done hype that junk up. Do you didn't see how he was preaching? Exactly. He has to now. Right. He better build some ships. He was making promises like he was trying to get elected. I know. <laughs> this show is actually getting really intense right now. Let's go. She's training to use needle. Oh yeah, that's right. She doesn't know. Oh hell, is she just up there, there do, doing that? And that's right. happening downstairs or whatever. Right low, lunge right. You break anything? The sector left my edge. Oh my gosh! They're taking out anyone who's right. Stark related. Oh no. Oh, and Sans is there. I forgot about that. She's so clumsy. Hush. Go back to your room. Bar the doors. I do not open them for anyone you do not know. Run. Yeah, that's the oh same lady she gosh. was just sitting there disrespecting, too. She's probably about to take a sword for her. Oh, no. Man, don't hurt that old lady, bro. No shot. Dang, but she's kind of like taking it for Sansa. That's what it seems like. She's sacrificing herself. Now you are dead. You said right. You went left. And now you are a dead girl. Only because you lied. My tongue lied. My eyes shouted the truth. Good lesson. Watching is not seeing, dead girl. <laughs> I want to laugh with them, but I'm really stressed. Right. <laughs> that is the heart of swordplay. Oh my gosh. Show us your skills. Let's go. Your father wants to see you. And why is it that Lord Eddard is sending Lannister men in place of his own? This is no concern of yours. His sword's wooden. My father wouldn't send you. That's right. Take her. Are you men or snakes that you would threaten a child? Get out of my way, you foreign bastard. Let's go. You <laughs> will be speaking to me with more respect. Kill the Bravosi. Bring the girl. Bravosi? Ryan Arya. We are done with dancing for the day. Run to your father. They're about to kill this man. Yeah, he oh can't my take them all. He can, might can take a few, though. That one in the back is probably going to get him. You see what I'm saying? There's no shot. Pick up a real sword. Bloody oafs. Get a real sword. The first sword of Bravos does not run. Yeah, you can outrun that man. Look at all that armor he has. Oh, God. <gasps> Pick up a real sword, bro. What do we say to the god of death? Not today. Not today. Not today. Go. Oh, no. Oof, I didn't realize how much I liked that dude. Me either. Well, he really meant a lot to her because when she had to go to Winterfell, she's like, can you come with us? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, she's just, the vibe I'm getting for her, she's just looking for a friend. Yeah. Right, like the butcher's boy. Someone to like, that is okay with what she has going on. Look at this big dude. Oh my God, he's about to cut this girl no. up. I'll tell my father. Oh, I'll run. I'll tell the queen. <laughs> oh my God. Who do you think sent me? That was so sinister. Oh no, that's everyone. Where's Ned? Need it. There she is. What do you want? Want you, wolf girl. Mm -mm. Leave me be. My father's a lord. He'll reward you. Maybe. Stay away. <gasps> no way. I mean, that little boy done lost his mind. Watch out, bro. Yeah, you were putting hands on her. Like, she's She had a knife or a sword. Yeah, go ask Joffrey about her. Lord Stark. You must be thirsty. Mm-mm. Don't trust anything from him. Varys. No liquids. I promise you, it isn't poison. Why is it no one ever trusts the eunuch? Because you're shady, bro. <laughs> you're probably immune to it. <laughs> yeah, he probably sits a little bit every morning. <laughs> Not so much, my lord. Too much poison, my lord. What about my daughters? The younger one seems to have escaped the castle. And Sansa? Still engaged to Joffrey. The rest of your household, though, all dead. I do so hate the sight of blood. Does so Sansa have to stay married to him? did nothing. And would again. I was unarmed, surrounded by Lannister swords. When you look at me, do you see a hero? At least he's real. <laughs> right. Well, Ned's heroism then got all of his what people killed. Mm -hmm. led you to tell the queen you had learned the truth about Joffrey's birth. Right. You could have saved it. You know, with a better plan. Mercy. She might save her children. It's always the innocents who suffer. It wasn't the wine that killed Robert, nor the boar, but it was your mercy that killed the king. I trust wow. you know you're a dead man. The queen can't kill me. Can't hold a brother. She the don't wrong, care. Brother, sadly. Right. Straight up. <laughs> and lost to her. Your wife has let the imp slip through her fingers. Oh no. He has nothing. That's true. 
and slit my throat and be done with it. Not today, my lord. So honestly, I was really thinking that they were going to assassinate the king, but they didn't. Maybe they did. Who do you truly serve? No, the king said he got hit by a boar, babe. The realm, my lord. They didn't send the boar. Someone must. True. <laughs> <laughs> He just died because he was. I don't drunk know. I just felt hunting. like I still felt like someone gave him too much wine, like that. But it, he always he gave for himself it. too wine. Yeah. It, yeah, it's in, your brain wants there to be a conspiracy here, like but someone has said. Right. But he just died because he was drunk and got attacked by a boar. That's it. That is right. It just happened because he can't stop killing. That's what they say. That's the hand the wolf tore off. Any sign of Benjen or the rest of his party? Just these two, my lord. Been dead a while, I'd say. The smell. <laughs> what smell? There is none. Okay. If they'd been dead for a long time, wouldn't they be rot? Maybe it's too cold? We should burn them. I want Mace Raymond to examine them first. You may be a coward, Charlie. You're not <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Get them inside. Have you heard him? Lord Commander, Mr. Eamon awaits you in his chambers. Array them from King's Landing. Oh, gosh. Why can't Ned just go serve on the Night's Watch? <laughs> I don't think they would. They'd still come for him. Bring me a horn of ale, Snow. Pour one for yourself. There you go. I don't trust any like vases or anything in this show anymore. Like everything's King. poisoned too. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. Is there any word of my father? Sit. Bro, back then you just had to take a letter's word for it. Somebody right. could lie to you. Yo, the king's Lord dead. Stark. Do this. <laughs> hey, what the hell? I have to wait for the three of them. With Robert's brothers to deny the throne to Prince Joffrey. I hope you're not thinking of doing anything stupid. Yeah, you can't leave, Your bro. Duty lies here now. Oh my god, that'd be so stressful. I'm sure they'll be That's too damn bad. Bro. Oh my gosh, and she has to stay there. King Robert's body was still warm when Lord Eddard began plotting to steal Joffrey's rightful throne. He wouldn't do that. He knows how much I love Joffrey. Send for my father, he'll tell you. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> you were innocent of any wrong, we know that. Yet you are the daughter of a traitor. How can I allow you to marry my son? Oh my gosh. I am born of a traitor's seed is no fit consort for our king. She's a sweet thing now, your grace. But in ten years, who knows what treason she may hatch. Oh. No, I'm not. I'll be a good wife to him. I'll be a queen just like you, I promise. I won't hatch anything. The girl is innocent. She should be given a chance to prove her loyalty. Dude, thank They're God our society room. is not like that, man. The sins of the father and all that? Yeah. That would suck. Little Dove, you must write to Lady Catelyn and your brother, the eldest. What's his name? Rob. Best will reach him soon, <laughs> doubt. Best it comes from you. If you would help your father, urge your brother to keep the king's peace. Tell him to come to King's Landing and swear his fealty to Joffrey. They're so rude. They just want to see them do that. It's all about it's all about the illusion that they're powerful. It's all about the illusion. You disappoint me, child. We've told you of your father's treason. Why would you want to speak to a traitor? I only meant that she's so cruel, bro. <laughs> what will happen to him? That depends. On what? On your brother. Mm-mm. And on you. I don't believe her. I feel like even if they do that, she's still gonna kill Ned because he tried. He tried to uh, out her. To be honest, I feel like eventually they'll try to kill her too. Sansa wrote this. It is your sister's hand, but the queen's words. You're summoned to King's Landing to swear fealty to the new king. Bro, I rock with that guy. I like the way he's like a poet. He's now he wants his ass kissed. This is a royal command, my lord. If you should refuse to obey. I won't refuse. I'll go to King's Landing. But not alone. Call the banners. They've all sworn to defend my father, have they not? Theon's like, you manning up. <laughs> Let's go. Now we see what the words are worth. Okay. So they're like getting some like allies. Well, all these men swore loyalty to, then, you know, Ned. Was it, is it the North or Ned? I don't really know. To the North. But Ned's like in charge of the North. So they're like. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. An attack on Ned, an attack on the North. And they're like their freedoms, basically. The North just wants to be free of the South, it seems like. Like they don't mm -hmm. want that. That's why they have like a whole different gods and stuff. Yeah, they're they're like a complete different people. They're like more old school. They're not about like brothels. And that's why there's not even one there. It's on the outside of it. Right. You've had this. Since dawn. He sent it to me, not you. <laughs> I've only shown it to you as a courtesy. A courtesy! My husband has been taken prisoner. My son intends to declare war. Teach him patience. Ned rots in a dungeon and you speak of patience. Family mean nothing to you. Nothing means nothing to anyone right now. I will not risk Robin's life to get caught up in another of your husband's wars. But I'm hungry! Soon, love, soon. He's a brat. <laughs> You're asking me to send men from the Vale to fight? Of course I fear for the safety of my son. They killed 
my husband, and that is why we have to stop them. Unfortunately. The Knights of the Vale will stay in the Vale to protect their lord. Dang, she's just saying she doesn't want part of that drama. So every single, so all these places have these armies like Winterfell, the Vale, they all have their set armies, but you really got to get them all united for them to go try to march on King's Landing. Right. Because it's so powerful. Like, this is just too, like. Because they're basically essentially marching on, you know, the monarchy down there. I should just take your food and leave you here. What would you do then? Starve, most likely. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, Bron? Gold? Women? Golden women? <laughs> Stick with me and you'll have them all. Like on uh, Marvel. The Marvel, yeah. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. That is why you so valiantly took up arms to defend my honor. Don't go looking for me to bend the knee. Mainly interested in your facility with murder. And if the day ever comes when you're tempted to sell me out, whatever their price, I'll beat it. <laughs> I like living. Put him on retainer, right? <laughs> What's up with Tyrion? He's kind of making the show in a way. Tyrion. It's like the Lannisters are all corrupt, and he is too in his own, like, of course, but he's just funny about it. Definitely self-interested. You can't go anywhere without getting attacked. Mm -hmm. Come, share our fire. <laughs> Help yourselves to our goat. He's like anti-Vikings with the upside-down horns. When you meet your gods, you tell They're like them Beatles. Shaga, son of Dolph, sent you. What the hell? <laughs> I am Tyrion, son of Tywin, of Clan Lannister. How would you like to die, Tyrion? In my own bed? At the age of 80? <laughs> <laughs> Ideally, right? <laughs> Take the half man. Kill the other one. No, no, no. My house is rich and powerful. If you see us through these mountains, my father will shower you with gold. Half a man, maybe. What do the stone crows do? Shiver when the knights of the Vale ride by. Are those the best weapons you could steal? My artist start talking. Lannister Smith shit better steal. <laughs> oh. You think you can win us over with your trinkets? Is he about to throw it in the that woods? Trinket is worth more than everything your tribe earns. If you help us. <laughs> Shagger, son of Dolph. You put it on the pinky. Give you this. I believe it is time for new lords of the Vale. So that guy right there just stumbled upon the lottery, basically. Ran into a half man and was promised a kingdom. <laughs> but a traitor's busted. Oh my gosh. You'll hang for this busted. And you should have killed him. <laughs> I'd be telling my homies to lie. Oh wait, everybody saw it. <laughs> All right, nah. He attacked me. That guy went right back to the soup. Look, disappointment. I told you not to do anything stupid. You're confined to quarters. Now, what does that mean? It means go to your room. You want time out, John. Aw. What's wrong? Is someone out there? He's like, well, yeah, go get it. If that was my dog, it would probably be like a cupcake outside. For some reason, I just assumed he was going to be locked in his room. <laughs> but he just walked right out. <laughs> I thought it was a little stricter He just there. got told to go to his room. Right. <laughs> You're confined to your quarters. He said, all right. And he, he listened. <laughs> right, but Ghost heard something across the way over here. You see? Oh, he's about to see something corrupt, probably. Because he's just out snooping for some reason. Well, how did Ghost know that from that far? Little commander. Oh, my gosh. That was the dead things. What the heck? What the? That was that dead guy earlier. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm confused. Did he what? Oh, he's back. Oh my gosh. That doll's like, get me out of here. I don't have a sword. It just pulled it out. What are you supposed to do with that? What is going on in this show? Oh, what is this, this is different. <laughs> I thought when you got stabbed in the heart, it was over. Oh, look at them. They're pillaging. So they're basically gonna go trade them for slavery. I thought the Dothraki didn't believe in money. Gold to hire ships, princess. Aww. Ships to sail to Westeros. Yeah, you might not believe in money, but money believes in you. Jorah, make them stop. For their cow, now they claim their reward. Oh my gosh. You have a gentle heart. Are they arguing? <laughs> yeah. What do you want done with them? You cannot claim them all, princess. I can, and I will. Damn. Oh. Okay. So basically, she's trying to bring her Westeros values to Essos. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's going to get a lot of people to like her by sparing. It them. might make everyone hate her. This guy might get pissed. <laughs> Look at those heads. And the request of San Aharia, Majen Nembo Sosaji. Ginia Pella Jalar, Jin Chura says Zafraji. Totraki Shakit Sisajimora, Hashmoriki, Savor Sevas and Dick Haravishmak Akat. Er Asu Anno Sechi. Anna Asok Yerisikoshi. Vino se my usual for Zakriz Mirama. No credit at all. Anna Jarak Bosa. See, now that's honor right there. They ain't like that in Westeros. Their soldiers just stand there. Unnecessary. <laughs> 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 Why do you do that? 
Oh my god. He's like Nate Diaz. He misses out. No, not really. <laughs> you just know Nate Diaz, so you throw it out there. No, like Nate Diaz when he was fighting Tony Ferguson, he was like hyping the crowd up. Always. Um. So yeah, he definitely just ripped his throat and his tongue out and all that. Might not be able to show that on YouTube, guys. They'd be greedy. And that was like his friend, kind of. Trust and believe. If they can find a reason to take oh, the money for this, Oh, he just threw it in that pile. Right, I need to learn some respect. I was the god's wife of this temple. Maegi. My mother was God's wife here before me. She taught me how to make healing smokes and ointments. The great shepherd sent me to earth to heal his... As a sick kid. On Breaking Bad, when that guy did too much when he wasn't in charge, what happened to him? Tuco got him right. <laughs> yeah. She's manipulating him because she's walking up. Oh, my. What is she called? My son and stars. I don't want to see you bleed. It hurts me. So then now she, he is about to have a soft spot for him. I will lead the van or I will take my men and march them home. I'd be really annoyed if I had to have conversations with that guy if I was Rob. <laughs> right. To do so, Lord Umber. When I am done with the Lannisters, I will march back north, root you out of your keep, and hang you for an oathbreaker. Oathbreaker, is it? <laughs> What's up then? Ooh. Dang. Well. He didn't even tell his, his wolf to do that. He didn't have to. That wolf swore an oath. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloody tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Bran. I'm like, what the hell? Like, do you laugh in that intense moment? Like, what the heck? What's happened? All right. Where are you going? South. My father, Lannisters have spies everywhere. I don't want them to know we are coming. Can't I come with you? You can ride now. You've seen me riding. Mm -mm. You'll only get in the way. Yes, you will. To be a Stark and Winterfell. Until I return, that will be you. Oh, he has to be in charge. You are not to leave the castle walls while we are gone. Do you understand? <laughs> that might not be good for Winterfell. <laughs> Look after your little brother. I'll send letters whenever I can. Don't be scared. Could have been a goodbye. I guess we'll see. Dang, that one little visit changed their whole lives. <laughs> that yeah, one little visit. Absolutely. This poor kid. How long have you been hiding out there? Rob will be looking for you. They've all gone away. Oh. They'll be back soon. No, they won't. Oh. Yeah, he's wise, ain't he? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that one little visit just set all this stuff into motion. And mainly all because they were playing with Joffrey. That or Joffrey was hanging out with Sansa that way or that day. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. If she wouldn't have had her nose up that. No, I think it was all because Robert was in love with the Stark lady from the beginning. She just ha hates him because of that. My gods too. Even slaves are allowed to pray. You're not a slave. Well, your friend did put a knife to my throat. I'm not complaining, little lord. Just telling truths. <laughs> what did you mean about hearing the gods? You ask them. They're answering you. It's only the wind. Who do you think sends the wind if not the gods? Your brother will get no help from them where he's going. The old gods have no power in the south. The weirwoods there were all cut down a long time ago. How can they watch when they have no eyes? What the heck? I tried telling your brother he's marching the wrong way. All these swords, they should be going north, boy. North, not south. Cold winds are rising. Oh. So she's more worried about the, the White, White Walkers, Walkers right? Yeah. And she's saying that everyone's distracted by their shenanigans and their politics. And really, the, the existential threat is the White Walkers, yeah. They were touched by White Walkers. That's why they came back. That's why their eyes turned blue. Only fire will stop them. I read about it in a book. What else did the book say? The White Walkers sleep beneath the ice for thousands of years. And when they wake up, I hope the wall's high enough. Oh my gosh, tell us. Right. He's sitting around the fire telling ghost stories. I he? know. This is adding on to the suspicion. I mean, that wall's pretty high, dude. Yeah, are they just gonna fall and like die? I guess they're gonna it hit looks the ground, like they have to be burnt or stand or something. up. Right, they can't die only by fire, but what if you push them off the wall and they hit their head on a rock? <laughs> Nothing happens, they're just good. I mean, he got his whole sword through his heart and was good. <laughs> the river lords are falling back with Jaime Lannister at their heels. And Lord Tywin is bringing around a second Lannister army from the south. Our scouts confirm it's even larger than the Kingslayers. One army or two. Mother, you're a welcome sight in these troubled times. <laughs> we had thought not to meet you here, my lady. I had not thought to be here. I would speak with my son alone. Move your asses! Come on, out! Yeah, hustle, hustle. <laughs> you too, Greyjoy, you're bloody deaf. <laughs> We'll shove our swords up Tywin Lannister's dunghole, and then it's on to the Red Keep to free Ned. <laughs> Sounds good. Devil. I remember the day you came into this world. Now I find you leading a host to war. Why do I feel like there's an urgent, there's urgency, and they're not being urgent? If you think you can send me back to Winterfell, I would, but I could. There was a letter from Sansa. From the Queen, you mean? She's smart. Mm -hmm. There's no mention of Arya. How many men do you have? 
18,000. If I go to King's Landing and bend my knee to Joffrey... You would never be allowed to leave. No. Our only hope is that you can defeat them in the field. And if I lose... Do you know what happened to the Targaryen children when the Mad King fell? They were butchered in the sleep. On the orders of Tywin Lannister. That's what I'm saying. They're going to go if straight to Winterfell and kill their kids, ain't they? Your father dies. But they weren't killed. But they weren't killed. We die. Well, that makes it simple then. I suppose it does. It's not Since a sense. <laughs> Now look at these bandits over here, mm -hmm. being led by the great half man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be best if Bronn and I continue alone. Not best for me. <laughs> if the half man betrays us, Shaga, son of Dolph, will cut off his manhood. And feed it to the goats, yes. <laughs> so he said that a few times. That was probably a really, like, overused incentive back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I bet yeah. people probably did that a lot. I mean, that'd motivate me. <laughs> I don't know about it, so I don't know. Uncle? Father? The rumors of your demise were unfounded. Sorry to disappoint you. Companions of yours. This is Shaga, son of Dolph. Fair maid is Chella, daughter of Czech, leader of the Black Years. <laughs> and here we have Bronn, son of... You wouldn't know him. <laughs> May I present my lord father, Tywin, son of Titos of House Lannister. Lord of Casterly Rock, Warden of the West. Kind of you to go to war for me. You left us no choice. The honor of the house was at stake. Jamie smashed the river lords of the Golden Tooth. They kind of do it like brothers, though. How did my sweet sister persuade the king to imprison his dear friend Ned? Robert Baratheon is dead. Oh, he doesn't know. My sister rules, you mean? Stark's son has called his banners. One taste of battle and he'll run back to Winterfell with his tail between his legs. Though the boy does have a certain belligerence, you'd like him. While we're on the subject of war, I made promises to my friends here. And the Lannister always pays his debts. <laughs> Plus swords, pikes. If it please my lord, Sir Adam bids me report that the Northmen have crossed the neck. The wolf rushes into the lion's jaws. So <laughs> be it. Come on, the drivers beat assembly. Send word to Jamie that I'm moving against Rob Stark. That's crazy. So there's for real war. Mm -hmm. Didn't give him anything, did he? You said that the men of the mountain clans are great warriors. Ride with me against my enemies and you shall have all my son promised you and more. Only if the half man fights with us till we hold the steel he pledged us, the little lion's life is ours. Why does he have to fight? <laughs> hey, he's part of it. <laughs> Gets him on broken ground, put his knights at a disadvantage. We need to get around him and break Jamie Lannister's siege of River Run. Do that and the River Lords will join us. To do either, we need to cross the river. The only crossing is at the Twins. Lord Frey controls that bridge. At the Trident, he didn't appear until the battle was done. Some men take their oaths more seriously than others. So she don't really like him that much. Right. But Rob's saying that he needs the Greyjoys, dude, like where he's from, they need their cooperation, so we're about to go there? No, I think that and where Catelyn's from. Do we move against Jamie or Lord Tywin? We've captured a Lannister scout. He looked to be counting. How high did you get? 20,000, maybe more. Wow. You don't have to do this yourself. Your father would understand My if father I... understands mercy when there is room for it. Let him go. Tell Lord Tywin, winter is coming for him. 20,000 northerners marching south to find out if he really does ship gold. Yes, my lord. Two bees. <laughs> Merciful when there's room for it, he said. Are you touched, boy? You call me boy again. Go on. He needs that mental warfare, right? There's got to be a purpose to that. Yeah, maybe. Look, Sansa has the same hairstyle as her. It is the wish of his grace, Tywin Lannister, to be appointed Hand of the King. Oh, God. And lastly, in these times of treason and turmoil, it is the view of council that the life and safety of King Joffrey be of paramount importance. Sir Barristan Selmy. Your Grace, I am yours to command. You may remove your helm. You have served the realm long and faithfully, but it is time to put aside your armor and your sword. It is time to rest and look back with pride. Oh, she's getting rid of everyone around her that has any shred of, like, dignity, right? Mm -hmm. Only death relieves us of our sacred trust. Yours or your king's? You're too old to protect anybody. Your Grace. The council has determined that Sir Jamie Lannister will take your place. Of course. Paint his blade with the blood of the king he had sworn to defend. Careful, sir. We have nothing but gratitude for your long. Man, you had your opportunity when Ned was right there in front of you. A hall to die in and men to bury me. I am a knight. I shall die a knight. Where was that energy, bro? Apparently. <laughs> his ass. Apparently he's the best, the comment said. Cut through the five of you like carving a cake. Melt it down and add it to the others. He, he shivered at that. Did you see him? He went... <laughs> 
Dang, he had an idea what was going on, too. We can see the chess pieces moving now. Your Grace. The Lady Sansa of House Stark. I ask mercy for my father. Reason is a noxious weed. I know I kill him either. You should be torn out. Ruth. Let her speak. I want to hear what she says. Do you deny your father's crime? No, my lords. I know he must be punished. All I ask is mercy. He was King Robert's friend and he loved him. You all know he loved him. He never wanted to be hanged until the king asked him. They don't care about any of that, bro. They just don't care. He said I wasn't the king. Why did he say that? He was badly hurt. Mr. Pycelle was giving him milk of the poppy. He wasn't himself, otherwise he never would have said it. Yes, he would have. <laughs> Such sweet innocence. Treason is treason. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> right. Anything else? If you still have any affection in your heart for me, please. Your sweet words have moved me. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> he has to confess and say that I'm the king. <gasps> He's not, He's not going to do that, bro. Or ah. well, there'll be no mercy for him. She hey, tried, though. She bought him a shot, though, man. He will. All right, guys, that was Game of Thrones, uh, the pointsy end. So, baby, what happened in this episode? That was crazy. Okay, so what happened to me was it seems like wars coming to a head for real right. this time. Um, it seems like there's troops in a place, uh, 18,000 versus 20,000. Absolutely. And two bees is leading him up to when yep. he became a man, didn't he? Yep, two bees is stepping up. He's in control. It looks like anyone who was in the north, which I only know that, that, it's, that it showed was the river runs, river run. Mm. It seems like that's who they're tagging up with to go take on Jamie Lannister. Well, the, well either, the Lannisters. Either, well, they said they can either go for Jamie Lannister's army or Tywin, right? Well, well, what what Jamie's doing is he's going to. He, I think he might be going to the River Run. So he's wherever Catelyn's from, which she's a Tully. I don't know where that means she's from. Mm -hmm. um, wherever Catelyn's from, Jamie's going there to. I, I'm not sure really what to do, but Tywin is going to get Rob. Tywin and Rob are on a collision course. It seems like right. Mm -hmm. um, the thing about this episode, it really seemed like all the chess pieces are moving into place for war. So um, this episode is definitely setting it up. You could see it. You could especially see it with Joffrey and Queen Cersei because she's just willing to cut anyone, man. Uh, loyalty, none of that stuff matters to her. It's a new age because it's a new king. And in her mind, a new king means a new day, a new rule. So she's obviously just, there's no, there seems to be no bounds to how tyrannical that this lady can be. So right. I'm really excited to see, honestly, just how crazy this show makes this woman out yeah. to be, to be honest. It's about to be wild. Cause, Cause she seems like she's in a league of her own about how wild she is like yeah like she's unmatched i guess it was important to note that joffrey's kind of on the same like page as her because immediately he yeah just he's told, all about he it. said to kill them all he didn't really care well because he's always the pinnacle of her plan like he always ends up you know on the green side of every single things that we saw in this episode that really helped develop the story was daenerys seems to have a really soft spot a soft spot in her heart when it comes to just like humanitarian issues yeah right so Mm -hmm. they saw the people plumage in the village and she stepped up and she she's not afraid she's not afraid mm -hmm. to speak up she definitely owns her spot she commands it and she sees how gruesome they are and she still does drago is the king right mm -hmm. drago's powerful he's the king drogo. but yeah drogo sorry you know we talk funny around <laughs> okay he's the king right but she seems to hold the power right, right? she's do you see what i'm saying but like it seems do you see like how the she's stories, tricking him to think that like manipulating him yeah she's because he thinks it's not her it's his son the stallion Right, absolutely. Right. Yeah. So he's convinced that because they're like, you know, bonded in that way that her the son's going to end up taking over. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and he's he promised his son the seven kingdoms, right? Yeah, I guess what I'm saying is in the future I'm trying to predict how this relationship's going to unfold because it's sort of unorthodox, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I mean, if I was going to make a prediction right here right now, I would assume eventually they're going to cross the sea. She'll probably I don't know, maybe she does good, maybe she conquers, maybe she does I don't know, but I, I see him dying on a battlefield and her moving on or not maybe. really caring or, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is he a chess piece? Right, I, I kind of feel like he's just like a step in whatever plan she might have. But right. the thing is, I don't get what plan she has yet. But she seems very like humanitarian, so it would seem odd that she would use someone like that, but at the same time, I don't know, man. It was like, the pet names for me. When they started calling each other pet names, right. I knew moon that moon, she's son of son, she so has like. them under her spell and, and all it took was her to show a little dominance, I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what he needed. Manipulated that guy into coming up with this whole promise that he made 
made in front of everyone passionately, I might add, that he's going to go over there and give his future son the seven kingdoms that his mother's father sat upon. So mm -hmm. it's, it's going down, basically, guys. But it's like the scary thing is there's a war here, but this war is like not happened yet. Right. So this war is going to happen and then they're not going to have anybody to that's, fight. That's what I was saying in the episode. Lady, man, I forget her name. I got to learn these people's names, but I will. The lady was pointing out that in the north is where the true enemy lies, right? The existential threat lies in the north, and everyone's so focused oh, on the geopolitics. Oh, she don't geopolitics. have a name. The wildling you're talking about. Okay, there you go. That's, yeah, yeah there she you go. don't got a name. I knew there was no way it was just because I was bad with names. Not yeah. <laughs> Basically, uh, everyone's looking south when she's saying they should be looking north. So. Oh my god, you are you just reminded me. There's an even bigger war. Because there's that war, there's that war, and then there's this north war that everyone keeps talking about. Like, so there's the war with, with the people in the east SF and there's people in Westeros, but then the biggest war is the war of the people that you can't even kill, the White Walkers. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. You just reminded me that well, yeah, there's that's these what the wars, was but there's saying, a whole like, other war. They're so focused on the geopolitics yeah. and all this hearsay and the you game know, of power Thrones. and corruption because they're humans. So they're yeah. obviously doing what humans do. They're focused on the Game of Thrones, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But in the North, the existential crisis lies, right? But the problem is it seems that they've been asleep for so long that we've learned that everyone takes them to be an urban legend, yeah. basically, right? So no one really believes in them. And... We saw them in this episode. They're mm -hmm. here and they are real, bro. So I don't know, dude. I, you know, That's this shows she said. She this show's said. done a good job making us forget. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's like you're you're so caught up in this little town. Like honestly, I, I'm so caught up in King's Landing and the Winterfell drama that I forgot there's because uh, it's so Cal good, Drogo right? and all that. And right. then when you for, when you remember that, you forget that there's freaking White Walkers you got to worry about as well. Yeah. yeah what absolutely. is gonna happen? Right. <laughs> what is the show? A lot's going on, man. Uh, oh my gosh. But, you know, I really need to get emotionally invested in someone. But if Ned takes the throne, that would be great. But he can't now. Like, I don't see that. Well, happening. Yeah, the show's portraying him as weak because he's always hobbling around. So it's almost right. like the show's, you know, he's an old lion, man. And in reality, the old Wolf. lion. Well, yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. But it, yeah, but in real life, that's the saying. Yeah. But in real life, man, the old wolf doesn't. They're not at the very back of the pack, man. They're not the leader anymore. So um, I do want to note that Sansa, um, I didn't really like her until this episode, honestly, when she kind of stuck up for her dad. She did. She literally could have got her head chopped off or worse. And she still stuck up for her dad. She still said, y'all need to give him a chance. I don't think it's fair. But that's that naiveness coming in because if she knew how sinister this lady was and how evil Joffrey was, do you think that, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like she's just naive. I don't think she realizes if she knew how horrible they could actually be, yeah. do you think she would be so quick to speak? I don't know, man. There's a lot of, there's a lot of- Do you think of... they'll still be horrible now that they're ruling though? They got their way. Have you ever known a horrible person to seize power and not be worse? Yeah, but I thought they were just gonna be horrible to seize the power, not when they seize the power. Why don't you be good? You're the king. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what in the? I just, I mean, I, I don't want them to be bad. I don't on, want babe. them to be bad. Okay. No, nah, they're gonna be absolutely evil. Evil. I don't know, man. That's human nature, bro. Like, either believe it, agree with me, or don't. But that's what humans do. Humans seek power, and they, you know, and if when you get power, or money, you just become more of what you are. I mean, that's really what it is. You don't wake up rich and decide now I'm gonna be a better person. But something about Cersei, I noticed she's really big on like how people perceive her. Like, I don't think it's, he, I don't think they would be mad. Like, I don't think she would perceive herself as a bad queen so that's what i'm saying that's what i was saying in the episode though remember i was saying like cersei only cares about optics basically yeah because she because she's smart she understands that all power is basically just built upon convincing people socially that that hierarchy exists yeah right the king literally can get poked and bleed just like a pig can but the, but because of this hierarchy we create the king sits above the pig but right. they both can get poked and die so they're not um, gods basically absolutely not and she understands that so her strong image the fear that she rules with is everything to her so she has to keep it and she is willing to be as evil she's not basically she's not willing to pull up because any sign of weakness because she because she knows that she sits upon a straw house right so any sign of weakness might be the one thing that tears it all apart because her whole lineage her whole claim to be where she at is based on a lie and she knows that mm -hmm. so she has to be evil i guess right. and that's really all i got to say man i can't sound any smarter uh <laughs> yeah it's been the octobers man like subscribe if you're having fun watching these videos with us um i'm having a blast the show is really complex we're doing our best to take it serious because it is a very serious show yes. and yeah we're trying to do our homework and we're gonna do our best we're to catch reactors it all, so. not reviewers or an analyzers absolutely uh yeah man thank you guys so much for hanging out man and we'll see y'all in the next one peace